Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna do something a bit different. Uh, I'm leaving to Romania from uh, Belgium uh, with this car, with the Mazda CX-7 and well I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. I've done it in French uh, a few months ago when I did it with the BMW 5 Series and uh, you know since I didn't have the time to do it in English back then I said you know this time since I'm doing the road trip again and it's basically the same conditions still Covid out there still you know restriction and all that so I'm, I'm gonna vlog it but in English this time so uh, we'll see how it works out just the car is different and don't worry I know there's something flickering at me a light two yellow lights actually the DPF has not been reset because I, I, I did my maintenance on my own and I don't have the Mazda something to, to reset it so yeah it's gonna be flickering and the car is not dying though and uh, the tire pressure I'm running uh, winter tires because you know they said there might be snow so uh, yeah those they don't have the valve like the electronic valve so basically I'll have no tire pressure for the whole trip it's gonna be fun that being said I'm gonna do basically checkups once in a while uh, when I'll stop or on the way if there's something I can show you or some tips and tricks for those who want to travel through Europe you know basically from one side to another from west to east from Belgium to Romania passing by Germany uh, Austria and uh, Hungary so yeah I'll keep you posted I'll keep you updated and um, let's see where this takes us so here we are cr just crossing uh, Frankfurt actually this is the airport as you can see it's huge it's one of the biggest airports in the world uh, surely one of the biggest in Europe if not the biggest I, I, I don't know anyways well speed limits respect those in Germany um, yeah so far so good uh, there were there was sorry more traffic than expected on the road uh, given the conditions you know the sanitary conditions but besides that uh, no no surprises at all I know this uh, road like basically the bottom of my uh, hand is that how you see that? you get the point I actually know it pretty well uh, fuel update probably way sooner than the BMW I think I've been averaging somewhere around let's see that together well I need two hands this is difficult this is not fun okay one two sorry for the view yeah basically I've been averaging eight liters per hundred kilometers which is honestly a bit much uh, for this car in my opinion but then I was driving not very economically I was driving somewhere in between 140 and you know 150 something like that so it's not too bad but it's not too good probably gonna give you another update once I have to refuel uh, in I don't know something like 300 kilometers from now maybe a bit less and uh, you know see you there although it's very dark outside and there's no point in me turning the lights on and everything and just turning it to my face because you won't be able to see shit and if you do it's gonna be bad quality anyway so I'm sure you'd rather see the steering wheel and my lit dashboard so quick story you see these two pieces of plastic I was hearing a noise coming from the wheel and getting louder and louder and yeah basically the, oh yeah you can see shit let me take the light off my phone and in the meantime explain basically something ripped I don't know how or why and uh, yeah I had to cut those open because part of it was ripped and then the rest was just you know rubbing against the tire which are brand new by the way <laughs> and uh, yeah so that leaves me with a tiny tiny uh, well tiny amount of plastic missing basically that's fine you know mysteries great now I have this so if anyone wants to buy a piece of junk, uh, hit me up. Oh, you can see my face because, well, there's light. We're gonna enter Austria quite soon and I'll show you the exact place. But when you enter Austria and uh, Hungary, by the way, too, and Romania, too, but still, you need to buy something that's called a vignette. Uh, that allows you to drive on their highway without paying a fucking fine so it's you have to get it there's no way around it it's not very expensive for the whole way I mean it doesn't matter it's for I think for a week uh, it costs around both together uh, Hungary and Austria it's gonna be somewhere around 20 to 30 euros or, or maybe less 
you know it varies between cars and utility vehicles and all that but it's not it's not that expensive so yeah you need that to just cruise freely otherwise you're gonna get a huge fine and also you have to stick it in a particular place on your window it's on the upper left side and if you don't do that you also get fined you get stopped by the police like honestly it happened to us a few years ago it's, it's not something it's not really pleasant I'll check up with you once uh, we cross the border maybe even uh, no actually I'll check up with you after we cross the border and when we uh, get close to Ud, which is our next stop and I'll explain there why and I'll even show you it's quite well it's quite simple to understand once once you'll see it so quick update I'm in Austria uh, about 100 kilometers or so from uh, Vienna and it's basically 3 a.m. quite tired but there is a good story here well can you see this place far there is something called old timer and there's like a restaurant and everything and you can see the prices maybe I don't know if I get closer basically if you go and fill up there it's the cheapest station in Europe or at least so far uh, as far as I know sorry it's 99 cents per liter of diesel right now so that's really cheap considering like on the highway you get it at about 140 or more like 140 is cheap on the highway here I filled up the car with this price 89 cents per liter as you can see 51 and a half liters 46 euros so yeah this is the magic place it's in Oed O E D you know if you ever go through Austria it's the best place to fill up and god this, this is just amazing like generally you can go and grab like a Burger King and you know have some fun it's quite you know it's spacious it's cool but uh, not now because Covid so now I'm just gonna hit the road and probably gonna stop uh, not gonna stop sorry until the Romanian border because I just want to sprint there I don't have much time to waste here's a look at the car by the way winter tires winter wheels you know large enough but it's quite loaded I'll give you the specs later on and I'll see you yeah a bit later well good morning or at least for me or not not, not really because I haven't slept <laughs> but still we're crossing Budapest in a few minutes uh, which is uh, well the capital of Hungary for those who don't know and for the others it's about uh, 200 kilometers or so away from the Romanian uh, borders border sorry and uh, yeah so far so good the car drives well fuel consumption it's still at average eight now now it's like instant console but uh, the average is somewhere around eight right now uh, i've been driving it around 130 140 150 you know depending what the legal speed was in general let's try not to crash into the truck anyways the view is very nice at least in my opinion with the morning missed something happening and the sound raising uh, rising sorry in the background it's quite uh, an amazing sight to be honest looking forward to showing you more images in Romania in the meantime uh, enjoy this quick commercial break I, I don't know if any commercials are going to pop up right now but eh, who knows I tried quick update I actually forgot to do it while I was stopped we are in Romania right now and um, sorry ways and well basically to sum up Austria there was nobody on the street like literally no one driving besides you know uh, trucks nothing and uh, Hungary pretty much the same they do like a quick kind of checkup you heard that anyways they do a quick check up at the border but besides that nothing too serious uh, the same Hungary you just have to stop to dedicate the uh, petrol stations but besides that uh, there's not that many limitations so far um, the road very foggy uh, but otherwise free and okay now the question is once I got to Romania there is a border control and that's where it gets a bit trickier because they ask you where you're coming from and etc they kind of 
check your story to see if it makes sense because if you're from one of the countries that's uh, on the red list then you cannot uh, either cannot enter the country or if you do you have to uh, quarantine yourself for 14 days and you know basic COVID stuff now I'm gonna be on the highway for the next I think something like 300 kilometers which hopefully will go very fast they are and uh, yeah I mean I'm tired but I, I guess you can see that that's no surprise then again we left like maybe 12 16 hours ago something like that but yeah that being said I'll update I think somewhere in the mountains where the scenery is actually worth seeing and my face will disappear because look at my face no one I don't even want to see my face so probably you don't either quick update if you're ever going uh, from the Romanian border uh, near Arad and if you're basically your goal is to go to Bucharest uh, you'll have highway uh, highways sorry most of the way but there's a funny thing there's like a portion of around I don't know 30 kilometers or so maybe a bit less even uh, where you have to go off the highway and actually go through like a mountain path kinda where the road is just disgusting like th this is a really bad road like really really bad especially if it's at night and everything like there's a high chance that you might just blow a tire it's just that bad and there's also bad drivers as you can see uh, but yeah nevertheless uh, watch out when you drive in Romania first of all not that all the roads are like that but you know you have to be more cautious of your uh, surroundings let's say see this is a nice way to put it and uh, second of all you know there might be animals or shit on uh, like drunk people in the middle of the road that happens yes this is still a, uh, an Eastern Bloc country <laughs> remember that but no otherwise uh, it's manageable it's fun and uh, you'll have highways most of the way and the parts where you don't have highways uh, not all of them are like that just it's just a really bad portion but the rest of them are decent but actually well yeah decent build sometimes even good now and uh, the center is just out of this world N not not here we'll get there so we're on the busy B roads just after Sibiu and I promise you I'll be back here because I, I can drive fast anyways it's very crowded and there's just no point in going any faster than this so that leaves me to vlogging so look at these colors it's, it's really amazing autumn I haven't been in autumn in a, in a real long time and Romania is nice because in the summer it's really green and then in autumn it's just like super colorful overall I don't know if the GoPro is gonna pick the colors up probably not it's not gonna do justice but still let me talk to you about the Mazda it's the perfect moment look nice scenery let's talk about the Mazda uh, because I've never mentioned it actually it's a 2.2 diesel engine with 173 horses and uh, a manual uh, gearbox it, it's fine honestly it's, it's more than fine to be honest with you so it's permanent four-wheel drive but I think if I'm not mistaken I'll check this out we've had the car like for years now <laughs> but still it only has like 80,000 kilometers uh, that not being the point the point is I'm not sure if the, the all-wheel drive is deactivating itself after a certain speed that's what I read I'm not sure about it I haven't double checked just read it once and I just assume that's how it goes so it's mostly like front wheel drive I assume since, since it's a uh, transversal engine and then uh, like in low gears or when you need like when it's slippery it's gonna be all-wheel drive but I'm not sure this is the one you want to take off-road although it's it's decent I guess especially with like the winter tires we have now it's also mud and snow uh, a bit threadier therefore you know more grip because we uh, expected snow <laughs> and it's not snowing <laughs> but that's fine it's probably gonna snow later on um, in December but yeah look at these colors just gorgeous mountain roads how you like them like this would be amazing with the Mustang not fast just slowly enjoying it with the top off on a breezy summer day just perfect with the Mazda not too bad but nothing special Mazda so it's official I'm here 
I'm in Romania, I'm in Pitești, I'm home, I'm destroyed as you can see. Uh, basically uh, I did the rest of the the road was just hell like it was super crowded there was so much traffic road works road wow my, my English is just gone in my brain as well like right now I have over 20 hours no sleep just driving straight no pauses like I stopped two times I think or something like that and I'm honestly destroyed uh, so yeah, what I was trying to say is that uh, there were many roadworks uh, making everything so complicated and I lost so much time But in the end I made it in uh, uh, just over 20 hours for the whole trip which I'm you know that works It's basically the, the same amount of time I did with the Beamer actually a bit less Beamer was a different story anyways I'm not sure if this vlog is gonna be of any use to you guys because I don't know if any of you just intends to, you know, uh, it's fine. Let's go from Brussels to Bucharest for no reason whatsoever. Well, I if you want to do that, probably this will serve you. You'll have some very cheap gas stations. By the way, gas in Romania is also very cheap. It's one euro per liter of diesel, which is the same price I got in Germany uh, on uh, on a location. I'll, I can link that in the description if you're interested. And the same with uh, Austria where I just filled up again for 80, what was it, 89 cents? Yeah, 89 cents. That being said, enough of me talking. Actually, fuck my face. Look at this huge thingy. Like, I have no idea what that is. I mean, I, I do, it's a, it's a store, you know? It's just full of everything. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's just too much. But back to my destroyed face. Uh, yeah, this was it. Uh, if you have any questions, if you, I don't know, if you just want to insult me in the comments, just go ahead, because I do look like shit. I know I, 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 I stand by it. But then again, 20 hours, no sleep. Actually, more. Let, let's not go there. Now, what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to hit the bed uh, straight away. No, actually, I'm, I have to unload the car. As you can see, it's a, it's a huge mess in the back. And then I'll get to sleep. And then I'll see you with actually an awesome car. You won't believe what's coming. See, that's that's a nice way of teasing. That's good marketing. But it's true this time. So it's not just marketing. It's not, I'm not Donald Trumping you, fake newsing you. So yeah, uh, <laughs> if you like this, please, you know, all that uh, like, share, subscribe, if you want to. The subscribe part, especially, and the like, and the comment. Do it all, please. And I'll see you next time.